If you are a purpose-driven entrepreneur and you're experiencing low sales in your business, then I have one mindset shift that will help your business go from surviving to thriving. And when I say thriving, I'm talking about getting your message out into the world and making that change that you wish to see while making full-time income. Now, if that's something that you want to experience, then go ahead and drop a hashtag, I am a creator, down below. And I also have some gifts for you guys because I want to help you in the best way that I can. I'll put what they are right here. And if you're interested, you can check them out down below. So to really begin with this, I want to change the way that you guys think about selling because here's how I see selling. I see selling as an exchange of value because here's the thing, you can't help someone until they say yes. And if you are a purpose-driven entrepreneur, then your products or your services really work to help people. But of course, we can't provide that until they say yes. So when you're going into selling, there's really two different mindsets that you can have. One is selling and the other one is serving. Now, when you're serving people, you're coming at it from the right place because here's the thing, business is a spiritual game, right? And when you come from that heart of service, then you can truly help people and make this difference. Now, I have two coaches right now and both of them are amazing. They're both givers and they're both really awesome sellers. And when I say sellers, you know, like it's the exchange of value. So they're really good at getting people into their programs and changing their life and their business. However, both of these coaches gave me two completely different pieces of advice. Now, I'm not going to say names here, but <laughs> one coach gave me the advice of, okay, when you go into the call, you know, to get people into your program, then the main thing to focus on is to overcome their objections. And you don't want to help them too much. This is his advice. You don't want to help them too much because then they can walk away and then they won't get into your program. So on the call, the main point is to try to get them into the program. So that's one coach. And the other coach had a completely different um, approach to it. So. She was like, when you get into the call, the main focus should be to help them. So don't hold anything back. So on that call, you want to, you know, give them as much value as possible. And then you want to give, give, give. And then at the end, then you can ask them. Now, I took both of their advice. So I had two calls last week to try to get people into my program. Um, one of them, I took the first coach's advice and I went into that call and I was very much in presenter mode. So, you know, I was very eager to present my offer to try to get that person in. Now, I also took the second coach's advice for the second call. So I didn't go into that call with the objection to sell. You know, I went in there with, um, with a purpose to actually help them. So I saw that person, I saw what it was that they needed. And then I asked the question, you know, towards the end, like, if I can help you, get to this desired result, would you say yes? And the person was like, oh yes, like absolutely. Like I can, you know, he really saw my ability to help him and he really connected with me. And when I came from it, from the heart of service, I was more laid back. I was more my authentic self because I'm naturally a giver. I'm not one to just, you know, come at it wanting people's money, not saying that money is bad, but when I came at it from that place, it was so much easier to ask them like hey like if you'd like to take us a step further would you like to come into my program you know so that's my advice for you because here's the thing when it comes to selling and I'm no expert when it comes to selling I'm still young I'm still learning selling selling is like a muscle you know you got to keep working it out you're never going to be perfect at sales it's just one of those things that you have to build so I'm just telling you guys what I've learned from my experiences but from what I've learned people buy feelings and emotions they don't really buy things and nobody really buys a like coaching program people buy the coach because they resonate with them they want to be more like them right they're a role model so if you get into that call and they can feel that 
they can feel your authentic desire to help them, then that's what people are going to buy. So no one likes to be sold to is another thing, but people love to buy. So yeah, and here's a beautiful thing. Um, so that second coach whose advice was to come from the heart of service, um, we actually got in a, in a sales call last week and I watched her come at it from that place, you know, that desire to help that person. And it was so beautiful, you know, like <laughs> the guy who we were helping, like he lit up, he was like, oh my gosh, like he was almost in tears <laughs> because of how much we helped him just on that call. And one of his um, objections, we can call it, is that um, he wasn't sure if he had the money at the time. So my coach gave him enough advice and enough help. She didn't hold anything back, but she gave him enough help to actually go and make that money himself. Because she even said like, you know, our goal here wasn't to try to sell you, it was to help you. So I wanna help you do that. So she gave him all the tools. She was like, if you follow these steps, all this advice I gave you, you can actually earn that money, you know, the, the price of my program. And then you can use that to pay us to help you get even further along this journey. And this guy was almost in tears and I was just like, wow, you know? And something else I'll say, I've helped people in the past, and even though that they couldn't pay at the time, I've had people come back to me, right? Because when you come at it from that place, like, and people remember that, what's the first thing they're gonna do once they have the money to invest in you, right? They're gonna come to you, they're gonna say yes. And yeah, they'll have you to thank as well for helping them get there. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you got value from this video. And again, I'm no expert. Um, just to tell you guys a little bit more about these gifts. And I'm going to wrap this up because it's starting to rain right now. <laughs> but um, I have a mini course if you're interested. It's, it's free, by the way. A free mini course to help you guys make full-time income and positive impact even faster. So you can find that down below. And if you would like to get on a call with me where I'll help you um, strategize and to really set yourself up for profit, you can book a road mapping session down below. And it is $97, but here's the thing. Again, it's an exchange of value. So if I can't help you make money, then I don't deserve yours. So I just want you to know there's a lot of value in that call. So I genuinely want to help you there. But you can book that down below. And then, of course, I have a YouTube course. And I lowered the price to $97. And that's just how you can make money with a small YouTube channel because... A lot of people believe that, oh, you need a big following before you can start making money. And they see, um, you know, subscribers and views as a reflection of success, but it's not because I know this because I've done it. You know, there's ways that you can set yourself up for profit in the beginning. And yeah, that's what I want to show you guys in this course. It's a 30 day one. So by the end of the month, you know, you'll have a YouTube channel that's really set up for profits. And then, of course, just be sure to like and subscribe and to tune in every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and Sunday at noon Eastern Time for new videos. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this video down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye.